I really think, you know, this blending of our biggest names and our biggest drivers on that Sunday night while celebrating kind of our, our roots and our history is, is going to be a special moment for us. NASCAR fans, buckle up, because NASCAR's dropping some serious bombs for 2025, and it's going to be lit. 2025 is about to flip the script on everything we know about racing. We've got international races, historic returns, and enough surprises to keep you on the edge of your seat all season long. From taking the Cup Series International to tearing it up at the iconic Bowman Gray Stadium, this season is going to be straight fire. Ever wondered what it's like to see NASCAR tear up the track in Mexico City for the first time? And what do you think about the clash returning to its roots at Bowman Gray? Think the drivers are ready to handle these wild changes? Who's ready to see Daniel Suarez tear up his home turf in Mexico City? Let's rev up those engines and dive into all the jaw-dropping updates that are going to make 2025 the most epic season yet. Ready to get your mind blown? All right, first up, we gotta talk about something historic. NASCAR is making a big move in 2025. And when we say big, we mean crossing borders big. For the first time in its modern era, approximately in more than six decades, the NASCAR Cup Series is traveling with a passport and heading south of the border to Mexico City. That's right. On June 15th, 2025, the Cup Series is set to tear up the track at Autodromo Hermanos Rodriguez. And this ain't just some exhibition race, folks. This is a full-on points event. Like, this is legit. We're going to international for uh, for the first time in the modern era with a, a point series race for a Cup Series. We've had the Xfinity Series there for a few years. We actually had a few points races for a Cup Series in the 1950s. We've been talking about the continued iteration of our schedule, like Nashville and Austin, Texas. We went to the Coliseum for the Clash for a few years. We went to our first international or our first street race in downtown Chicago. You know, this is going to be certainly a monumental event for us. It's going to be a really big event event and a monumental moment in our schedule next year. Probably the most anticipated moment of the 2025 schedule. Now, for those of you who might be wondering why this is such a big deal, let's break it down. NASCAR's been itching to go international for a minute now. We've seen the Xfinity Series race in Mexico before, but this is the first time we're getting a cup race there. And honestly, it's about time. Mexico's been a huge supporter of motorsports, and they've got a killer fan base. The fact that we're bringing the Cup Series there, it's like bringing the show to where the party's at. And can we talk about the timing? This race is going down in June, right in the middle of the season. So, you know it's gonna shake things up in the standings. Every point counts. And with this being the first international points race, you can bet the drivers are gonna go all out. Be in the fast lane by subscribing to our channel. Stay updated on all the latest NASCAR news and driver stories. Don't forget to like and share this video with fellow racing fans. Now, we can't talk about NASCAR in Mexico without mentioning the man, the myth, the legend, Daniel Suarez. This guy's journey from Monterey to the NASCAR Cup Series is what dreams are made of. He's been repping Mexico hard since day one, and now he gets to race in his home country, in the biggest stock car series in the world. Like, how epic is that? Suarez even said it himself, it's a dream come true. Uh, if it's real official, honestly, it would be like a dream to me. Uh, I've been in the Cup Series already for for several years, and it would be like a dream, you know. Uh, since I moved out of my country in 2011, it's been a dream to come back uh, as a Cup Series driver. And uh, and uh, and if that's real, and winning that race for me, it would be as big as winning a championship. I know a little bit about it based on Formula One races uh, that I have watched and things like that. And it's a very, very fast. I don't have enough experience really to say. All I want to say is that we're going to see a lot of passionate fans over there. Just picture this. 10 years ago, he's racing in the NASCAR Mexico Series at the same track. And now, he's coming back as a Cup Series driver. Full circle moment, right? You can just feel the passion and pride he's got for this race. It's a day that we're gonna remember for a very, very long time. You know, I, I, we we're, were talking last night at dinner that today we're making history. Biggest uh, series of a stock car in the world to Mexico City for the very first time in the modern era. It's unbelievable. You know, I feel very, very blessed to be part of this announcement today and uh, the the energy was unbelievable and we still we still a lot of months away uh from, from the race so uh i'm just very happy you know um, I, I couldn't be happier today and honestly it's moments like these that make you realize how much this sport can mean to people but it's not just suarez who's hyped 
Our boy Chase Elliott, the 2020 Cup Series champ and fan favorite, is all about NASCAR going international. He straight up praised the leadership at NASCAR for making moves that a few years ago would have seemed impossible. Who would have thought we'd be racing in Mexico City or doing street races in Chicago, right? Chase is all about pushing the boundaries, and this is exactly what NASCAR needs to keep things fresh and exciting. Chase even mentioned how cool it is that NASCAR's got a big enough following to pull off a race like this in another country. And you know he's right. If NASCAR can draw a massive crowd in Mexico City, it just proves how global this sport is becoming. It's no longer just about the good old boys racing in the South. NASCAR's going worldwide, baby. Let's talk about what this means for the future of NASCAR. This race in Mexico City isn't just a one and done deal. NASCAR's making it clear, they're eyeing more international venues. We're talking about a sport that's been mainly US focused, now looking at expanding its footprint around the globe. And why not? The fans are there, the excitement's there, and the potential is huge. This could be the start of something big? Like, who knows? Maybe a cup race in Canada, Europe, or even Australia someday. The possibilities are endless, and it's all about growing the sport and bringing it to new audiences. NASCAR is straight up thinking about the future, and as fans, we're here for it. All right, now let's switch gears to another major update that's got everyone buzzing. The Clash is coming back to Bowman Gray Stadium in 2025. Oh yeah, we're talking about returning to NASCAR's roots, baby. The Madhouse is where it all began. And now, we're bringing the season opening exhibition race back to this iconic short track. If you don't know Bowman Gray, let us school you real quick. It's a quarter mile of pure chaos and history. This place has seen legends like Richard Petty, Junior Johnson, and David Pearson duke it out back in the day. It's where NASCAR legends were born, and now it's about to witness the next generation of drivers making their mark. The Clash had its run at the LA Coliseum, which was dope and all, but bringing it back to Bowman Gray? That's a whole different vibe. The fans are right on top of the action, the track is tight, and the energy is gonna be off the charts. It's a nod to the old school, but with a modern twist. And you know what? It's gonna be epic. Plus, there's gonna be a documentary titled The Madhouse, NASCAR's return to Bowman Gray Stadium airing on FS1 that'll dive deep into the history of the track and the preparations for the clash. So if you're a NASCAR history buff, or just love some good old racing drama, this is gonna be must-watch TV. So, what's the vibe from the fans? Honestly, it's electric. People are stoked to see NASCAR making these bold moves. Whether it's the historic race in Mexico City or bringing the clash back to Bowman Gray, NASCAR's giving us the kind of action we crave. It's about tradition, innovation, and most importantly, putting on a show that leaves us wanting more. And speaking of more, this is just the beginning. NASCAR's already hinted that there's more to come in 2025. We're talking potential new markets, more surprises, and a season that's shaping up to be one for the record books. So, if you're not hyped yet, you better check your pulse, cause 2025 is gonna be a year to remember. So there you have it, fans. It's a wrap on the 2025 updates and a peek into the future of NASCAR. Whether you're ready to cheer on Suarez in Mexico City or can't wait to see the chaos at Bowman Gray, one thing's for sure. NASCAR is going all out next season and you won't want to miss a second of it. Drop your thoughts in the comments below and let's get this discussion rolling. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe for more interesting stories and updates from everything NASCAR. Do share this video with your friends. Until next time, keep the conversation going on lucky dog on track.